you're all doing it wrong. Welcome back and oh, just in case you've not been here before my name is Stephen and I'd like to share with you my dirty hobbies. We're talking about metal detecting, mudlarking and the things that I find with those two hobbies maybe recycling or upcycling them so they can be used or worn again. I'm talking mainly about silver things like coins, copper too maybe, into coin rings and scrap silver melted down so I can do other things with them like this. Yes, you're all doing it wrong. I get asked a lot, how do I find my permissions? How do I get my permissions? And all this sort of related stuff. Because one of the hardest things as a metal detectorist to do is to get permission to dig on someone's private land. Now, unlike in the States, for example, where they can dig on sidewalks and things like this, we've got loads of history, but it's mainly all on agricultural land, either pastures or arable, and we have to get permission from the landowner. So when I'm asked, you know, do you do a lot of research? Do you look at the maps? Do you look research the history of a particular area? I've got friends who will do that for me because I don't do it. And I prefer not to do it because if you get excited about a piece of land and do all that research, and you put lots of effort and hope into getting it only to be told by the landowner that you can't go on you know you don't feel that good about it so i would rather just ask anybody who'll allow me to dig on their fields and if it turns out to be a good one then it's a good one and if it's a bad one and i've got lots of those then it's a bad one so i think most people who do all their research and then put all their hopes into getting the permission from the landowner are doing it all wrong. This is one of many dozens of times I've filmed on this field. And if you've not yet subscribed, I hope you enjoy the video enough to convince you to do so. And if you do do so, remember to do the bell icon as well. Because when I dig on there again or anywhere else in future and make a video, you'll be notified and you won't miss a thing. So let's get digging. <laughs> How about that? If I'm right, that's a silver denarius. Look at that. You can see how thin it is on that side and how thick it is on that side. So it's an uneven cast. Now I know that head, but the thing is I found so many denarius I keep forgetting them all. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this land is brilliant. Um, and I've got an idea actually. I've got an idea. I think I might invite somebody to come and join me and I know exactly who too. Now this one shows 96, 95 but it sounds so sweet. Absolutely brilliant signal in both directions. Now I bet if I dig that it'll be junk because I've got the video on. But I've got to haven't I? I've got to. Another piece of wire. No, it's a... <laughs> I think the end of the brooch is broken off here. You can see with the vein, the, with the fan bit, with the... Oh, oh dear, look at that. Oh, that is... I'm speechless. I never really, ever put this much effort into searching through stubble. I usually go for the short stuff. It's just that when you know for certain that there is things in this field you've got to find them, you tend to put more effort in. Make sure I make. Well, I'm just going to go over to ask Fred about this and he's already walking towards me. So I wonder what he's got. Uh, brooch! Head stud brooch. Hey! Well done! Nice, isn't it? That is lovely. Yep. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's artifact of the day so far. I've got the coin of the day so far. Yeah. That is lovely. There's plenty of stuff on here, mate. Well done. Yeah, and in, in like I say, in nice condition. It is. It's lovely. 
Mind you, do you see that really lovely um, pattern on the last one I had? Yeah. 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 That was only obviously a little um, trumpet brooch. Yes. But yeah, that's great. Now then, because it isn't what it first looks like, in my opinion, let's see if you agree with any prompting. It's a, uh, a Nuremberg Jessina. Yes, it is. That's what I said. And it's been holed. Yep. Yeah. So it's now an artifact. It is. Yep, that's exactly what I said. Thank you for confirming that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Coke. No. A coin. Yep, sixpence. One sixpence. No silver in that whatsoever. Dear me, what a sad state that is in. Let's just see if we can get that up. Uh, it's not very deep, I know that. I've got a feeling though, I just jumped. Look at that. Isn't that great? Just get that out. You can see that was enameled. And poor chap's missing his arms, but I'm not even sure he had any. They wouldn't, no, they're rounded. So obviously I was cast without any arms, but I'm not sure about the legs. Maybe they are missing, I don't know. So we have, I believe, a an anthropomorphic Roman artefact and I'm really buzzing with that one. Isn't that great? Well, it's only uh, about 2 hours 15 minutes. We've had some good finds but it's been a little bit slower than I would have liked compared to the other two days. That's always the case when you bring somebody under the guest, isn't it? So we've decided it's cake break. Cake break. Belgium all the time. Yeah, it's Belgian buns. We were talking about Belgian tokens earlier on. And as it happens, Fred has brought the cake today. And it's Belgian buns. So, enjoy. Happy cake break. Happy cake break. In your cake hole. Uh, I thought that was a Roman at first. The sound wasn't right on the coil anyway, so it looks like a lead bag seal. I know some people are really into bag seals. Um, I'm not. So if you can see anything on there that's interesting that you know about, just leave a message. I can see hull at the bottom. So it's obviously from hull. I don't know what's on the other side. I'll try and clean as much as I can for you. So. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it does say hull at the bottom. Oh, good first target after lunch. Well, I've taken the mud out of that, and do you know? I think that might be a dagger pommel. I've never found one before. I've seen a sword pommel before, but it could be. Right, I'm filming this one because I am virtually right back at the car, and. I'm getting an 82. Oh, I'm gonna... Right, let's try and isolate it. It's a lead weight. Now, it looks a little bit like a Roman steel yard weight, but these are very difficult to date anyway. Uh, anybody will tell you that and they're all over the PAS database with um, huge date ranges on there so the broad date range would probably be um, Roman through to late medieval something like that because it's impossible to date these but you can see here that the steel inside the lid is the remains of the suspension loop and sometimes you can see one at the bottom but you can't on that one but that one look has been moulded into a square usually they're trapezoidal or at least dome shaped but that one's purposely been made into a square.
so we'll never really know what that is but I'm happy with it well on that video you saw there some really good finds from a piece of land which I'd never researched I was just lucky enough to get a farmer a landowner who said yes and in the last five or six years he's given me more and more permissions some of those permissions in really good areas now how do you do it I need to ask now how you do it and if you're a, a detectorist watching this video can you leave a thumb one way or the other so I know how many detectorists are actually watching this but leave a comment how do you do it do you research land and then hope you can get the permission on it are you lucky enough to have a great personality and a good be a good communicator and you can just get land just like that have you got loads and loads of land that you'll never ever dig as long as you live have you got a piece of land there you would love to go on and you're trying to trace the owner so this is the period i suppose when we're not actually swinging a coil and finding things if you are a researcher are you researching is that what you're doing at the moment let me know i really would like to know your technique and as I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't yet subscribed, maybe you'll now consider doing so. And if so, I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later. Keep safe.